Hello, this is Dr. Gay. This is a patient who has an AC separation, relatively uncommon finding uh, in the shoulder. Down here is the shoulder joint below. We have the humeral head, we have the glenoid, the cup it sits in, and the whole joint looks fine, but above the joint, there's another joint here. This is the AC joint, or the acromioclavicular joint. Here's the acromion process, clavicle. And the clavicle comes horizontally across, and it has an attachment here, a joint with the AC joint, and the AC ligaments are ruptured and that allows the clavicle to ride up a little bit and the AC joint is widened. Should be usually less than five millimeters. And again, this is a widened AC joint. And this patient also had a couple other things. Number one, over here, this is the trapezius muscle. It has a broad attachment on the clavicle and the very distal part over here, you can see this fluid that comes out of the joint and wraps underneath. This is a fluid at the interface uh, and it's going beneath a tear of the trapezius muscle here. You can see the distal fibers are torn and uplifted slightly, kind of stripped off. And most of them are intact over here medially. The other thing we note is that the clavicle is not super high riding, and that's because there's another ligament complex over here. This is the coracoid process in clavicle, so it's the coracoclavicular ligaments. And you have a couple components. This one is the conoid component medially. I believe, and then out here, there's more broad one, it's called the trapezoid, and I believe the trapezoid component is partially torn, because I don't really see it that well, it's kind of thickened and ill-defined, plus the clavicle is a little bit high riding, which makes, these, makes me think that the trapezoid portion is partially torn and um, not doing its job, so it allows the clavicle to elevate, but again, this conoid portion we can see pretty well. So in the end, we have an AC separation with partial tear and stripping of the trapezius muscle from the distal attachment to the clavicle and the surrounding edema and hemorrhage. And that's it, and the shoulder joint looks great.